Hey, welcome to the Treatment Free Beekeeping Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut some comb out of uh, a hive, some loose comb, and put it in a frame so that your bees can fill in the gaps, fill in the wax, and will become part of your hive so that the hive will be manageable. So what happened here was this is one of my swarm traps. Uh, if you want to find out what swarm traps are, check out my how to build a swarm trap page and learn how to catch your own swarms because they're free bees. So this is a swarm trap and um, because the entrance is right here on the corner, I left this first frame empty. So there's no frame here and I figured that the bees would build over on the foundation or the comb that was already in there, but they don't follow the rules. That's a good beekeeping lesson to learn very early on is a lot of times they will not do what you want them to do. So for today's tools, I have my smoker, it's already lit. Not probably gonna use that unless the bees get upset. I have some rubber bands, an empty frame. Now you want the rubber bands to be fairly tight when they're on the frame because if, if they're loose, then the comb can maybe slop over to the side and you have some problems. Probably shouldn't put the smoker there because it's blowing right in my face. Um, got our hive tool, bee brush, because we're gonna wanna brush the bees off the comb so that we can handle it without getting stung too much. And I also just have a regular little kitchen knife so that I can cut the comb if I need to. Now this is one of the more involved things you're gonna do with a hive because you're gonna be messing around in the hive and not just moving frames, but actually grabbing onto comb and moving things around and causing a pretty big ruckus. So um, normally I wouldn't use smoke, but this is a case where smoke might be required. My neighbor's over in the pool. Okay. So I'm going to put on my hood. This is a man like vented bee suit. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to lift the top, which they have conveniently glued down since the last time I checked in here. I want to be very careful to pull up the top evenly so I don't break off the comb. I've also given plenty of time for the comb to harden. So when I first opened the hive, the comb was brand new. And so with hardened comb, you can do things like this. Flip it over. That's not too bad. Now the hard part is going to be getting the bees off. So what I'm going to do is start by smoking. And try and get most of them to crawl off into the hive. You don't want to try and brush bees like you would uh, sweeping your floor because that will make them angry. You want to kind of flick them. So I'm going to flick them off here. Flick them off, not flip them off. There we go. I'm getting them in. You're not getting too angry. Oops. Now 
this case, a lot of this is filled with nectar now. So I'm not going to worry about saving all of it. Well, it's got a lot of pollen. So anything that I'm going to want to cut off and discard will be the nectar sections. There we go. Now we've got most of them. So what I think I'm going to do is cut this off in two pieces so it's easier to work with. And there's already a natural divide in here. There we go. Let's start with this piece here. about hurting the comb too much. It doesn't have feelings. So this piece as you can see is probably too tall. Yes it is. So I'm going to cut a section of the nectar and honey off of here. Save that for eating later. That's delicious. Okay. And I'm just going to slide this comb into between the first rubber band. I should have brought a rag. You're going to get honey on your hands probably, so bring a rag. So now I'm going to Add some more rubber bands. I like to crisscross them a little bit. Well, that one broke. Now don't worry, the bees will take care of the rubber bands on their own. As the rubber bands get stretched out, they will become brittle and the bees will chew through them. Not a problem at all. Okay, now let's work on this next piece, which is mostly pollen. Is there any brood in there? Does not appear to be. All right, that's a little too wide. Don't be afraid to discard some comb, especially the crooked sections. because you don't need it and you won't miss it. Cut off a little bit more just so it fits better. Right in there. Rubber band. Now this is also useful if you're doing a cutout of a wall or some cavity somewhere where you've got some loose comb. Once I've got it in here, I want to straighten it up as much as possible because the bees will fix it and cement it into place wherever you have it. Oh, leaking some honey. Try not to cause too much rob too much robbing. I'm going to do this diagonally across this gap to hold these combs together. There we have it. A little bit of brood there. I'm going to clean up a little bit of comb that's here stuck on the side. While I'm at it, my uh, Swarm lures down in the bottom. I am sticky now. Look at this. I definitely should have brought 
Oh well, suit needs washed anyway. Definitely should have brought a rag. Remember that. Next time you're doing this, bring a rag. Wet rag to uh, clean honey off your hands. Let's do a quick little inspection here. Oh, I forgot that the screws are in there. Let's get that frame for now. So we got a decent brood pattern over here. Ooh, very good brood pattern over here. Almost a full solid frame. So we need to super this hive for sure. Oh, let's not forget that thing. There it is. You can see they've actually chewed out the paper towel. Just left the bag. Throw that away. I didn't get those in order, did I? Might have some problems with some loose comb. Now I'm starting to smell alarm pheromone, which means they're getting upset. So I'm going to conclude my business and move on. As that is the safest thing to do right now. A little smoke to help. Yeah, for those of you that don't know what alarm pheromone smells like, it smells like banana laffy taffy. When you start smelling that, you know it's time to uh, pick up shop. So, I'm gonna clean this chunk of comb off the lid here and call it a day. Let's see that went this way. Got a lot of bees on the edge here. We want to be careful to uh, kind of brush them off a little bit so we don't smash as many as we can. All right, and that's all we have for this video. So. Once again, that's how you put loose comb into frames using rubber bands. Or you can also do it other ways. You can do things like use string or uh, coarse screen or hardware cloth, however you want to do it. I just like it this way because when I'm done, the uh, the bees will when the rubber bands break, the bees will haul them out and or probably haul them out, and I'll be left with a uh, complete frame. Be totally foundationless and wireless so i have to be careful with it for a little while but the bees will fill it in and i'll have a completed frame that's why i do it this way if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below i'll get to them as i can and uh have fun keeping bees because if you're not having fun there are other hobbies